Okay, so I'm in my workshop with yet another heater lash up doing yet another nonsense project. But before I get underway with that, I just thought I'd just do a step-by-step -step, uh, video on how to drive this controller, just in case it ends up out in the wild there. Because number of things, first of all, uh, I've not seen one like this before, uh, nothing on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, any of the usual sites. Um, the instructions that came with this, to quote Elsa, who gave me the heads up on this bit of kit, is uh, it's a single sheet of paper, less use than a single sheet of toilet paper. Uh, and it's also very different from the uh, beloved six blade controller that we all love, or the th maligned three blader. So there's no um, ability to get into the fuel settings on this. Furthermore, there's no ability there's no timing function, not even a countdown timer like you've got on the maligned three blade. So it's a very, very basic controller. But you know, the whole kit was 60 quid, 60 English, English pounds from uh, Gearsar, uh, a Chinese uh, automotive distributor uh, that uh, advertised on AliExpress and some other places. Okay, so let's look at the controller. Now, I'm gonna call this the no blade controller because when you turn it on, the little fan has got no blades. The little fan icon has no blades. Until that is, you fire it up, and then it goes so fast you can't see count how many blades. All right. Okay, I'm gonna show you the priming function, but look, I'm not a massive fan of priming, and the reason is, and of course this is for newbies who've just bought a bit of kit for the first time, and not people who've got heaters and come back here just to check out this controller. Um, you know, you don't need to. Once your kit's up and running, you don't need to, because there'll be plenty of juice in the pipe, you just press the go button and it will eventually fire up. And in fact, if you've got a decent battery and not too long run, you never need to prime, because from the first time, just keep pressing that go button. Uh, you are hitting your battery, of course, because the glow plug's coming up, but eventually it'll fire up. If you do use the priming function, make sure you stop it, and I'll show you how to stop it, before the juice gets to the, just the, in, up to the uh, bottom of the heater, all right? So keep an eye on it. Once it gets there, turn the priming off. Because if you get too much juice in the burn chamber without that glow plug already hot, then when it does fire up, you're, you're gonna get your flood, you'll get all that horrible white smoke. So um, yeah, there's a reason why we've got these priming functions on the kit, but I'm not a fan of the rope. And you don't need to use them once you've got uh, juice in there. And to be frank, uh, my van kit, when I first put it in there, I was, I kind of was given the heads up about this. I didn't use the priming function then, I just uh, done a little bit of a fuel pipe fellatio to get the juice where I wanted it to go. Okay, let's look. Okay, so I've fixed the controller on the chop saw there so we can get a good look at it and the heater's behind me with the exhaust poking out the, the door. Let's zoom in a bit so we can get a better look. Right. Plug in the fuse and you see we haven't got a six blade or a three blade, we've got a zero blade uh, a fan icon controller, except of course when it fires up. When we fire it up, you'll see blades to appear and they spin around. I think it's probably two blades, but it doesn't matter how many, it's very different. Now look, if you've, if you've got a bit of kit and you've just come to look at this, just to look at this controller, the warning here is the logic is very different to the six blade or the three blade uh, controller. So you'll see that as we go through, but I'll just give you that heads up. So the, the first button at the top here is the pairing button. Press and hold that. And it comes up with 433, which is, of course is the frequency. Um, but I should say the kit came with the, con the remote control already paired. Already paired. Right, press out of that again. Now on the OK button, we're going to go through some of the screens. So if I press it once, that is the battery voltage. Press it again, that's the temperature in my workshop. Press it again, that is the, the fan speed. Not a lot of use, this information, the fan speed. I don't know what, what for, because you can't change it. Press it again, that's the pump speed. And notice the pump icon is showing, and it always does on the screen, whether the thing's running or not. Press it again, this is the glow plug screen. Notice the glow plug is showing, again, whether it's fired up or not, it's not at the moment. And zero VA, it took me a while to work it out, but then it sort of clicked. That is um, watts, that is the volt amps, watts. And I checked that out by putting a multimeter in line um, from the battery. And that's showing you how much a power is going into the glow plug. And when this thing's running, that is always a light, even when the glow plug isn't a light. 
And to be to, to, to see if the glow plug is active or not, you can see from the volt amp display, and we'll see that in a minute. So very different logic, isn't it, from, from the other controllers. That is the case temperature, um, 18 degrees um, of, of the body of the heater. Press the gamer back to the battery setting. Right, that can, those buttons there are for setting your heat up and down. Uh, that's going to be the one that's going to fire it up. Right, to prime it, quite simply press and hold the OK button. And then it'll fire up and you see that thing flashing away there. A fuel tank and the pump. So you can see it then <clears throat> pumping up. Don't worry about those cavitation bubbles. It's just from the pump, that's normal. And so you can see it pumping up there. And really, I'm getting near the end of the tube. I go down a bit. That is enough. You stop it there. And then to stop it, simply do the same. Right, so it's on. You can probably hear the heater behind me firing up. You can see all of a sudden we got some blades. Is it two blades there? One blade? I can't see, but it's uh, it's spinning. But now look, look at that. You can see you've got three bars at the moment, two greens and a yellow. That does not have any relevance to the temperature of the case or the, the heat exchanger, as it does with the um, six blade and the three blade controller. That is simply telling you the heat setting you've got it on. You've got it on setting three, all right? If I press the up button, or, no, the up button, that's flashing 4.0D, and you can see you now got four bars there. Press it again, 5.0D, you got five bars there and with appropriate color coding. And of course this one takes us down. 2D, 1D, one bar. So very, very different logic to the uh, other controllers. Right, now let's come out of that. I keep pressing through the screen. That's showing the fan speed. That's showing the pump speed. The pump hasn't clicked in yet. We've still got the glow plug light, as we can see here. Not because the glow plug is showing, because it always does, but we've got uh, 85 watts going into the glow plug um, to start juicing it up. To... So in a minute, if we go back round to the fan speed there, to the pump screen what will happen is when the pump kicks in that will then start to show i'm just going to open the garage door so i don't gas myself i'll leave it on this screen oh it's dropped back to the battery screen let's go back to the glow plug screen there's the fan speed that's the pump speed there is the glow plug screen you can hear the heater getting faster and faster behind me. Oh, and now the power to the glow plug is starting to drop down. That's 75 watts. Drop back down to the... Ah, okay. It I think it dropped back down to the batch screen when the power dropped away from the glow plug. So no power going into the glow plug now. I'm going to put this up to full chat because uh, I just want to let this run for a bit and then what I'll do is I'll show you the shutdown sequence okay so I'm going to do a shutdown now you can hear the beast roaring away behind me it's quite simply press and hold the start start button and now it starts it shutting down so I'm going to just scroll through the uh, we can see the, the pump flicking away they're not sure what it's about but you get that right you can't actually scroll until the pump goes off Scrolling through, you can see now no power onto the glow plug yet. Now it's kicked in. So on this one, it cuts the fuel, then it fires at the glow plug, goes straight to 85 watts. Whereas on the startup, it ramps up slowly. And then you can see the that's the case temperature starting to drop. And we'll watch that down. I'm going to edit it out so it's not like watching paint dry. But I think you'll find that the machine will shut down entirely when it gets to about 75 degrees Celsius. 
So it's 35, 74, it will stop anyway when. There you go, shutting down when it hits 70. And that is my take on the two blade, or as I call it in this case, the no blade uh, diesel heater controller. Hope it was of use if you've come across one of these and are struggling fuse out.